Hello and welcome back to Inside the Church. Father Mark here. Over the past few weeks, we've wrapped up the tops of our stained glass windows looking at the sacraments of initiation and the sacraments of healing. And now over the next two weeks, we're going to look at the sacraments of service, marriage, and holy orders. So today we look first at sacrament of matrimony. And you know, what's unique about marriage is you don't have to be religious or Christian or or Catholic to get married, right? That it's a natural thing. So what is particular about Christian marriage? Well, the key to Christian marriage is that it's been elevated by Christ himself. And so our stained glass window, you see the stole representing that authority of Christ, that he's elevated it, one, at the wedding of Cana, and then two, through his teaching. Through his teaching in the Gospels, he hearkens back to what God wanted from marriage from the very beginning. That from the beginning, he created the male and female to become one flesh, one bond, one life together. And the way that that comes about is through the covenant of matrimony. That's what's distinct about a Catholic marriage, is that it's not a contract. It's a covenant, this deep deep relationship, this one bond, this one life. And we see that symbolized in the question and vows, which imitate the love that Christ has for his church. And we see that love on full display where Christ seals a new covenant. He seals it on his blood on the cross. It shows his sacrificial love, his free, faithful love for us. And so the key to Christian marriage is to imitate that love, and in doing so, You become an image of that love of Christ for the world. That when people look upon the love between yourselves, they see the love of Christ on the cross. And so there's kind of four key F's that John Paul II talks about in his theology of the body. That love is free. That we see Jesus freely lay down his life. No one made him do it. He came to save us and he lays down his life on the cross. And so the questions and the vows on a man and woman's wedding day, you see that. That they freely, out of love for each other, want to lay down their life and enter this new covenant. And the second one, sometimes you hear it called as total, but also it could be called as full. That the man and woman, just like Christ, lay down everything. They lay down their strengths, their weaknesses. They lay down their future. They give it all to each other to enter this new life, this new covenant. And the third one, you see, especially in the vows, faithfulness. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. That the man and woman imitate Christ's love that doesn't just love on the good days when there's good feelings, but loves in the conflict, in the difficult moments, in the hard moments. And then those three F's lead to that fourth one, that fruitfulness. And so often in marriage, we think of fruitfulness as children, which is a great fruit of marriage, showing those three F's coming together. But there's so much more fruit to marriage than just children. For one example is that marriage done well, as those two people lay down their life for each other, it makes them become the person that God created them to be, coming fully alive, the best version of themselves. And so that's the real unique and beautiful thing about Christian marriage, is this lofty call to imitate the love of Christ, But then it becomes that beautiful image, that icon for others to see, that sacrificial love of Christ on the cross. And then just a quick note, we obviously know that marriage is very difficult, right? That divorces are reality, and there's tough moments in marriage, and there can be deep wounds. That it takes two people, not just one, to fully commit to this new life, this new covenant. And so I would just encourage couples to pray together to seek out Christ's grace and prayer, but also seek out the sacrament of reconciliation, confession. Come to those living waters of grace and mercy that we all need in our vocation, but especially in the vocation of marriage. So hopefully you've learned a thing or two. Until next time, God bless.